Gee. This is amazing. It's really getting uh, really bright out there. Yep. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be outside now. Like we did before. DOG in it. Copy. Columbia's altitude. Well on right. 48 statute miles as it begins to first in a series of four banks to dissipate speed as it uh, descends into the atmosphere. Banking to the right now, a steep bank of 60 degrees and approaching uh, the west coast of the United States. I got it. Columbia speed 16,620 miles per hour. Range to touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center runway, 3,450 statute miles. Columbia in almost an 80 degree bank to the right uh, to dissipate speed. The first of four banks it performs as it uh, approaches Florida to slow down as it descends. Altitude now 47 miles or about 248,000 feet. The shuttle speed is 16,400 miles per hour. Aboard the shuttle on the flight deck are Commander Rick Husband and Pilot Willie McCool. Flight Engineer Kapana Chavla and uh, Mission Specialist Laurel Clark. On the lower deck of the shuttle for entry are Payload Commander Mike Anderson, Mission Specialist David Brown, and Payload Specialist from the Israel Space Agency, Alon Ramon. Columbia approaching uh, the coast of California now. It'll, it's predicted to cross the coast and be visible in the San Francisco area about 5.51 a.m. Central Time, uh, Pacific Standard Time, rather, and uh, almost uh, directly over, pass almost directly overhead of Sacramento, California. It actually crosses the California coast uh, just to the north of the San Francisco area.
Max and GNC, you ready? Right, Max, we're ready. GNC's go. And we're ready, Willie. No deltas. Copy that delta. Shuttle's altitude now 45 miles, speed 15,000 feet, continuing on the right bank with wings angled 70 degrees, the first of four banks it performs to dissipate speed as it approaches landing. Columbia crossing uh, the California coast, again uh, just to the north of the San Francisco area. Its course will take it across uh, Sacramento, California. CLG in it. Copy. Roll and right. I got it. Flight back. Go ahead, Max. FYI, I've just lost four separate uh, temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle. Uh, hydraulic return temperatures. Two of them on system one and one in the, each of systems two and three. Four hide return temps? To the left outboard and left inboard elevons. Okay, is there anything common to them, DSC or MBM or anything? I mean, you're telling me you lost them all at exactly the same time. No, not exactly. They were within probably four or five seconds of each other. Okay, where are those? Where is that instrumentation located? They're, all you four of them are located in the uh, aft part of the left wing, right in front of the elevons, elevon actuators. And okay. There is no commonality. No commonality. Max, tell me again which systems they're for. It's all three hydraulic systems. It's two of them are to the left outboard elevon, and two of them to the left inboard. Okay, I got you. My guidance for processing drag with good residual. Copy. Thank you. Bye, Juicy. Go. Here the grounds were enabled for the landing count. Thank you. Max, tell me again which systems they're for. It's all three hydraulic systems. It's two of them are to the left outboard elevon and two of them to the left inboard. Okay, I got you. My guidance for processing drag with good residual. Copy. Thank you. IGC. Go. Area grounds are enabled for the landing count. Thank you. GNC flight. Flight GNC. Everything looked good to you. Control and rates and everything is nominal, right? Control has been stable through the uh, rolls that we've uh, done so far. Flight. We have good trims. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. And Max flight. 
Flight Max. All other indications for your hydraulic system indications are good? They're all good. We've got good quantities all the way across. And the other temps are normal? The other temps are normal, yes, sir. And when you say you lost these, are you saying that they went All four of them were off-scale low. Or off-scale low. And they were all staggered. They were, like I said, within several seconds of each other. Okay. Columbia continuing uh, toward Florida, now approaching the uh, New Mexico-Texas border. Flight fighter. Speed 13,200 miles per hour. Range to touchdown 1,400 miles. Fight or flight. Uh, we have the balloon. It is uh, being run through DDS right now. Flight Max. Go. We just lost uh, tire pressure on left outboard and left inboard both tires. In Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure uh, messages, and we did not copy your last. Is it instrumentation, Max? Uh, Flight Max. Uh, they're also off. Go. Go. Yeah, we're just taking a few hits here. We're right up on top of the tail. Not too bad. Max flight. Flight max. And there's no commonality between all these tire pressure instrumentations and the hydraulic return instrumentations. Uh, no, sir, there's not. We've also lost the uh, nose gear down talk back and the right main gear down talk back. Nose gear and right main gear down talk back? Yes, sir. And flight ECOM? ECOM. I've got four temperature sensors on the bottom line data that are off scale low. I didn't know. I didn't expect uh, this bad of a hit on com. GC, how far are we from UHF? Is that two minute clock good? Affirmative flight. Okay. 